Most people don't even think about where wild animals sleep, much less where bats sleep during the day. Bats do sleep in caves, but also in tree hollows and old buildings. The hairy-legged bat is known to roost in well-lit parts of caves, but also in tree hollows, which are more common than caves in Costa Rica. This nectar bat is known to hang in tight clusters of up to 15 individuals of both sexes. The hairy-legged bat is a medium-sized nectivorous species that has small rounded ears and a small leaf nose. Notice the really elongated snout and a lower jaw that extends beyond the upper jaw. It has a lot of really long whiskers on its snout as well. It's one of the larger nectivorous bats in the country. As soon as it gets dark in the early evening, hairy-legged bats fly off looking for flowers and fruit. They are well known in places like Monteverde in the highlands for feeding on hummingbird feeders. Although the banana was introduced to Costa Rica some 500 years ago, these bats are frequent visitors of banana flowers. This mottled owl routinely comes to take a look at the hummingbird feeder where the bats are visiting. It probably catches one once in a while. That long tongue is well adapted for nectar feeding, but this species also feeds on pollen and fruit and is known to include insects in its diet too. Like the banana, the bottle brush was introduced to Costa Rica a long time ago, and the hairy-legged bat both feeds on this and pollinates it. Generally, this bat is rare in Costa Rica, but it can be locally common, like in Monteverde. The distinguishing field characteristics of the hairy-legged bat include, well, you got it, hairy legs, but also no uropatagium, that web between the legs, and those whiskers on the snout. The baby or pup of this species is born late in the wet season. 